In this video, I'm going to show you how to swap multiple faces on the same image, all perfectly done, just like the previous video. Welcome to AI My Lifestyle channel, home of artificial intelligence tutorial and news. If you want to stay up to date with the latest tools, hit the like and subscribe button. It will really help me out here. So let's jump right into it. This tutorial is in two parts. In part one, I will show you how to generate all the necessary copies of the images. In the second part, I'm going to show you how to selectively swap one or more or all of the faces. In part one, we're going to need the Inside Face Swap Bot installed in Discord. If you haven't done so, I will put a link in the comment section below. If you need more detailed instruction, check out my previous video. Let's go through an example on how to do part one. Let's say I have an image here with three different faces and I want to swap the faces as shown on the screen. So in Discord, I will check to see if there are any faces registered. I will do that by typing list ID. You can have a maximum of 10 IDs registered. If there's no space, we can delete one of the IDs by typing in slash delete ID space followed by the ID name, let's say Elon here. Okay, then if we are able to do a list ID again, you will see that Elon doesn't exist anymore over here. If you want to clear out all of the IDs, you can use the delete all command. Now, if we were to do a list ID, you'll see that no IDs has been registered. Let's go ahead and register the three face IDs that we want to use for our example. So let's do the first one. Save ID, space, pull in Donald Trump's face. <laughs> Let's do the other two. Let's say Jenna. Oops. Jenna. Then we can do the third one. Let's do Taylor Swift. Oops. We can put an ID. Okay, now let's just do a quick uh, list ID and see what we have. We have three faces registered. With the three faces registered, we're going to use a swap ID command to create one version of the images for each of the faces we want to swap. First one, and we will use the first face ID. We have face one, Donald Trump's face, we place on all of the faces over here. Now let's do the same for Jenna and let's do the same for Taylor Swift. So let's do a swap ID, pull in the original picture, and then we can just type in the ID. And now we have Jenna's face on all of them. Let's repeat the same thing with the third one, with the third face. So swap ID. Again, we pull in the picture, same picture. Okay, let's save out all of these three pictures. So let's just call this one save image. Find files. Let's call this face one. We'll save out the second picture. Let's call this face two. And let's just say about the third picture and let's say we call it phase three. So now that concludes part one, we have generated all the necessary images that we need. Really, we have the original image, we have phase one, phase two, and phase three. Now let's go to part two. In part two, we're going to use an online app called photopia.com. So let's start that up. We can start by using open from computer and we will load up the original image first let's load up the original image where is the original image that's the original image 
and then what we want to do is add in our other three face image. Drag in face one, drop it on top. Drag in face two, drop it on top, and drag in face three and drop it on top. Okay, so the next step is to rasterize all of these images. Once we've done that, let's add a mask to each one of these three faces. We do not need to add one for the background or the original picture. So let's add one to face one. You just come down here and click on this camera looking icon. And then you see a white screen shows up over here. And let's just do the same for the other two. Now when masking, anything that says that shows white, it means that we can, this picture is going to show through. And right now, what I want to do is I want to turn off and make sure that none of these pictures shows through. Uh, to do that, we're going to have to turn the mask to black. Select the mask, go to the properties screen, and we will invert the mask. Right, and let's just do the same for the other two. With all three of the face pictures masked, in black it means that none of them is showing through that means we are seeing through the entire stack and we're looking at the original picture which is the background picture so next we want to go off and activate the brush tool and you can see that right now my current brush size is kind of small you can use the square bracket to increase the brush size so right now i just want to increase it all the way to the size of almost the entire face right i want to just is it a little bit more in phase number one i'm going to replace the central character with it so i'm just going to come here to the mask set my color to white and i'm going to just click it one time right and that would now instantly replace the face with it so that what i'm doing here is really taking this picture and unmasking the face that is inside this layer so that when you look through down the stack this face is going to show this face is going to cover the picture below right so essentially we are swapping the face so let's do the same for the next two come over here we take the mask and we will just click over it and basically boom we have the face changed let's go to the third one click on the mask and now we just cover the face and we'll click it and it changes now you don't really have to worry whether this brush is a little bit too big. Uh, you just want to make sure that it doesn't cover another face. But uh, you want to make sure that even if it covers the other portion of the uh, picture, it really doesn't matter because it's going to just blend in together with the original background. With that done, we have essentially just swapped three different faces using three different photos in a picture. I hope you have learned something interesting today. Now I need a favor from you. This video took hours to make. If you could just take 10 seconds to like and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. So thank you very much.